do you, uh, have you ever treated patients with asbestos-related disease? Yes. And do your patients, uh, did they even know that they had been exposed to asbestos? The majority of them did not know when they were first involved with asbestos that they were exposed to it. And in fact, there are stories shared with me from patients about what they did around asbestos that would be headline news if it happened today. What do you mean? Well, I'll tell you a story about a group of people who worked at a Philadelphia Naval Shipyard not far from where my practice is. And one of the individuals who was dying of an asbestos condition shared the following story. These men worked very hard. They oftentimes worked 50 weeks a year in order to enjoy two weeks a year. They worked overtime whenever they could. They were raising a family. They were educating children. They were trying to make ends meet. When they worked overtime at the Philadelphia Naval Shipyard, they would be placed in gangs, groups of individuals, and they would be given a job to do. And they would be working an extra eight hours, for example, to do that job. Well, they quickly learned as a cooperative group, as a team, that if they had this work to do, and there were four of them in the gang, and two of them went off to do the work, and two of them got to take a needed rest, they could work overtime and not go home and collapse. And what they used to do was two of them would do the work for four hours, they would take a nap, and vice versa. They used to sleep in asbestos. They used to make pillows out of asbestos. They used to take asbestos lining or covering and because they were outside oftentimes in a shop or on a ship, they would cover themselves up with asbestos to sleep in it. And I suspect that if that happened today somewhere it would be headline news. 